before we start to build our sole, we're going to be filling up this middle area so that it's more or less the same level. I'll be using another layer of the same ladder that I used for the insole. An easiest way to figure out what sort of piece will fit in there is to trace it once again, as we did before, with the paper. So I will do that now. I've now cut out this piece of leather that will fit this lower part in our sole and I'm going to glue that down. I got the same for the other shoe, like that. Now all we have to do is glue. With this middle area filled up, we are now ready to start building our sole. Before we're going to attach our sole to the shoe, I'd like to talk very briefly about the different ways that you can attach um, a sole to the shoe, because maybe you'd like to do something different, and at least you know and you know what to look for if you're looking for more information. It boils down to this. You have three different ways. The first way is to just glue the sole to the shoe. Imagine that this thing is our sole. You just apply glue, press this together, done. This is called cementing, they don't call it gluing, it's called cementing, and every uh, mass-produced cheap shoe is glued together. The second way is um, so-called Gutier welt. Um, instead of just attaching the sole to the um, shoe, there's going to be a, 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 an extra layer, the welt, um, which is a rim of leather that runs around the shoe. So um, let, me, let me use my tape measure to mention that this is a strip of leather. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this all along the edge of the shoe and here we will sew this welt to our um, upper and our lining like that and then on the outside we will sew this welt to the sole that will come on top right this will run all the way around and um, shoes that have a, a Gucci welt or you can typically recognize them because on the outside of the shoe right if this is the sole you will see those stitches there all along the shoe that's typical for a Gucci welt the third way to attach the shoe to the sole is the so-called leg stitch, which is a stitch that runs all the way around on the inside of the shoe, and that will sew the lining and the upper immediately to the sole. Blake stitch can only be done by machine, or at least that's what they say. So you need a machine that will stitch the shoe from the inside directly through the sole. Um, you can research all of these methods online and you can do what you want. But what I do is none of those. I actually do a hybrid of Blake stitch and a Goodyear welt. Essentially, I do a Goodyear welt, but instead of adding a welt as a strip that runs all the way around, I add a midsole that covers the entire shoe. And I sew it on the inside, as you would with a Blake stitch, except I don't sew the outsole. I sew it on the inside, and then I put my um, sole on top, and I attach that on the outside like a Goodyear welt. So this is sort of like a hybrid method that I use. I find that it works well for making shoes by hand. It's not so difficult. It is a bit time consuming to sew the inside, but they often do that on the train on the way to work, so it's not really a problem. This is how I'm going to do it. Um, I also think that adding an entire layer instead of a welt helps with comfort and waterproofing the shoe, so I really prefer this sort of hybrid Goodyear Blake method. 